Well, viewers, assalamu alaikum. Today we will be answering a question that for how long the viral load is there or the virus is there in the inside the person who died uh, of coronaviruses or severe acute respiratory syndrome associated with the coronavirus positive, CUV positive or novel COVID positive. So here we are to answer some question from a scientific uh, studies. So let me share with you that remember that virus viruses are obligate parasite and they changes their shape from time to time so if you find a virus structure this year so you may be finding the structure that if you sequence it the next year so the structure will be totally uh, not totally different but to some of different so it is persistent continuously changes are there in the structure so this point is very important but however uh, so far the homologies are concerned uh, till now there is 98 or 99 percent uh, homology means similar uh, genetic sequencing uh, in the in this in these coronaviruses so nevertheless there are some mutations are there let me proceed to answer that and uh, regarding that so this study is from an rtpcr based study it means an article and the title was severe acute respiratory syndrome associated with coronavirus in lung tissues performed by uh, tony and his uh, associates and the strength of the study was that it had negative control group and some other. So uh, as we proceed, so you will come to know. And it was published in the year 2004 in the emerging infection diseases, infectious diseases. Uh, here is the control, what you can say, com complete uh, uh, mm, mm, abstract screenshot for your easy reference. And with the sensitivity of the study was 35.1 to 100 percent, it mean that the method adopted was validated in RT-PCR and remember there were 23 patients. So let me have a bird's eye view on this table and uh, this will be with 11 patients. You can pause the video and just have a bird's eye view on this and remember at the coexisting this comorbidity type 2 diabetes mellitus, hypertension, coronary disease and so on. So all these patients look at the age and look at the with exception of this number first patient you see. Uh, all of them are have, um, having uh, they are they are they are their age is very um, they are in progressive stage of their age and then there is what you can say uh, um, comorbidities are there and look at this viral load especially in the lung tissues to the RT PCR so there is a significant viral load now uh, to share with you another study and this study was published in the Journal of Medical Virology and in the year 2007 and an interesting point is that uh, in this table you see the timing was important that when a person dies of this particular severe acute respiratory syndrome positive with uh, what you can say um, this novel COVID virus or the SARS uh, NCO novel coronavirus so timing from that till the postmortem was 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 180 hours so look at this time. This time is very important, especially. And so, and what was the concentration in the vital organs or in the organs in the lungs? You see, it, there was 100 persons, 11, and almost 11 has, has significant viral load. You see, and then followed by the small bowel. And once a person dies, there may be maturation or there may be lacrimation, lec salivation. So care should be taken for uh, for, uh, for 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 while bearing such. Uh, type of uh, uh, patients uh, and usually I saw in the Facebook that uh, it does not have coronavirus is a good news but this, these are the studies in RTPCR and a realistic study so don't don't misguide people uh, I don't know from where that data came or whether that is an authentic data by the WHO but these two studies and these two journals are very important journal and 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 the method being adopted is on RTPCR based. So please be careful about this. Now, uh, in summary, uh, uh, the main cause of death may be the viral load, and the still uh, there is what you can say the viruses in the respiratory tract and uh, other vital organs, particularly in the small organ. Uh, uh, load is there and this can be dangerous for those who are going to manage the burial ceremony of a particular deceased person or the, for detail you can find this on these two uh, uh, links on YouTube about coronaviruses thank you